And we're back. I had a good pizza, and uh, it is now time for episode 53. So I'm going to start by going to the war table, since I noticed that a couple of my uh, advisors have returned. So we can see what goodies they brought us. Send us out to do other errands. Let's see. We have a pommel after all that. All right. Um, influence. All right, so she'll put him on the map as well. So I guess that's kind of like... Um, that one's still in progress. Kind of like Cassandra and Varric's quest. They'll be out there in the world. That's what I'm thinking there. Um, we can do find the warden. We'll do that in a little bit. What is Hinterlands? Hinterlands has elf root, but I don't know if I want... Right, let's go ahead and do it for now. Um, I didn't get that many last time, though, so it wasn't really worth it. What's Shadows over dead? From... Oh, Alistair. Uh... These cultist Venatori, I think they're called. We had them in the royal palace, or so I'm told. Like rats, but with magic and nasty sneers. I don't know what they're up to, but I need to find them and drive them out. Since the Inquisition knows all about them, I'm hoping you'll help. Something, something, grateful something. <laughs> Wait, did you Anyone? just write that? You scribed through this on purpose, don't you? King Alistair at the Heron. That's cute. Alright, um... I guess Cullen will have to do it. Inquisitor. Right. Have fun, Cullen. And is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Yeah, they're all busy. Oh, Black Emporium. Okay. Another one of the DLC. Um. Alright. So, passage to Kirkwall. Yay, a ship has been secured. New area unlocked. Uh, we'll go there in a little bit, actually. Um. Was there anything else that was from the DLC that I wanted to download? Doesn't seem like it. What about in Orlais? Couple uh, things we can do there for power, but we'll do them in a little bit. All right, let's go to the Black Emporium then. Where was it? There we go. Yes, travel. Uh, sure. And we need a tank. So we'll see what we can actually buy here. And I assume that like the first Black Emporium, the gear will get better as we get higher in level. All right, here it is, Black Emporium. Looks, oh, and my hair has changed, I guess, because we're in a DLC area. That's probably why. This is the typical hair look and not the uh, modded one. Where is the urchin? <laughs> I require the services of the urchin! So you can change your character's appearance here. I wonder if it's going to appear... Yeah, it appears with the, uh... The stupid high-up hair bun. Hopefully, it'll change back when we... Get out of this. Exit. I didn't change anything. So hopefully it's next. No accounting for taste. All right. But hopefully when we leave him back to the main game, my the hair will be the same. All right. Weapons and accessories. We have a really nice staff, level twenty-three. You have to be higher, level eighteen to use it. Um, bunch of other good weapons, essentially. Not that much better than the one I have. Definitely better, but 
only by like 40 percent is that all he has ah belts magic melee and range defense 15 percent to all elements 100 percent maximum health or 100 maximum health rather high string oh, i see it's all their stats that's that's pretty good five magic and five willpower it's nice that they have a place to uh, spend all your money. Sort of a gold sink. Alright, that's all he has. This little shop. What about this one? Schematics of Legend. Oh, I like the sound of that. So you can get it. Is there only three tiers? I assume there's only three tiers of crafting then. Which is okay, because for a game like this, you don't want there to be too many tiers where you're constantly making your... Uh, Remaking all your gear every every couple hours. So these are all very expensive, though. I mean, they're essentially as expensive as an actual weapon. They better be good. But I want to see what their stats are. I want to see what they look like before I spend that much money on them. No. Handle yeah. the mirror with care. It has been known to bite. This... Alright, so this is like lesser stuff, I guess. Oh, some armor schematics. Yeah, this is like the same recipes that we could buy at most of the shops in uh, Valroyo. Alright, whatever. Oh, and crafting materials. You could buy crafting materials in unlimited quantities. That could come in useful later on if I'm tired of farming them. None of them are particularly expensive. But we'll look at those later. I think that's probably it for here. Oh, I can read about the proprietor. Xenon the Antiquarian. Alright. I don't see the uh, the street urchin or the golem anymore. Hmm. I think of it, we haven't really seen any golems in this game yet, have we? And I know it's pronounced golem, but in Dragon Age apparently they're actually called golems, not golems. For some reason. Is that an... Oh, no, it feels like an armadillo trying to escape. Alright, let's exit the Black Emporium. So you can go to the free marches a little bit here in this game. Not too far north, just to the Black Emporium, but it's something. Um, sorry, I'm probably actually going to go to Skyhold. That's, that's fine. Yes. Can't really take a party to Skyhold anyway, so hopefully we don't get like intercepted on the way back. What was I going to say? There were a few things I noticed walking around that I wanted to check out, but I didn't want to check it out until I actually started the recording, in case they turned out to be something interesting. Alright, so I was looking at this door here, wondering where it went, and I saw this guy. Has another door We'll see. Whatever they used to call Not it. much better than the road, you are. Honored Inquisitor. His voice Gotsi is very low. Sturhal. Did my part on the walls. Now I'm on this strange collection you've brought us. Don't know it's worth to the fight exactly, but it's good workmanship. Maybe my, my headset was actually just kind of turned down. That's probably what it was. Where did you learn your skills? Orzammar. Carved a few statues in my day. And before you ask, yes, I chose to leave. I carved a paragon who turned out to be a sodding madwoman. Couldn't stand looking at it. The memory of a dwarf, right? Bronca, I guess. Any ideas about the origins of these reliefs? To Vinter, early. It's in the tool marks, the grain. That's hard dust mined from the Hundred Pillars, if I know anything. Oh, I suppose the scene is probably full of Tevinter robes, too. The Hundred Pillars? damnedest things. 
massive spires that aren't Heard stone. It, it's like a mortar. Don't know more than that. Strong though. What are we talking about? Do sir? you have insight into the stories these tiles are supposed to depict? Tell you what. You finish one, and Other I'll write mosaics. it up. Who better, right? A good dwarven perspective. I got you. So that's those collections we've been looking at in Another some of these time. areas. Best of the vein, Inquisitor. All right. At some point, I might take a take some time to look for all those things, and I'll use a guide if I do. But I'll probably do that in between episodes. So yeah, this door goes out to the garden, which is kind of cool. We're over in this area now. Uh, I don't know if I've actually been to before. Not sure. If there's another way to get here. It's a nice little like uh, cloister courtyard. Who are you, Thren? Thanks for my life in Haven. You've all sorts serving now. Oh yeah, I saved if you. That means That's change. That'll right. be it. Uh, I don't know where this goes. The dungeon, maybe. Statue. Bride of the Maker. Ah. Uh, hey, Andraste. This is like our little chapel. I thought for a second there might be like an elven statue, but nope. That'd be too much to ask for. This is cool. Nice little view of the courtyard, though. I like it. Anything up here? Ah, uh, up to the, the ramparts. I think we've been through here already, right? Oh, we can go up here. Climb! I did it right in front of it to climb it. And over there. Oh. Saw something glow, but it was just the other ladder. Oh, come on. Climb. up here just a view. Hey, there's my room. It's a good view though. Come back and jump over this. Ah, I can't jump over this. Ah. My whole plan for getting down was to come up here and then just jump down, but I guess that's not really possible. This is a great view of the uh, Frostback Mountains. I saw some cool uh, Skyhold concept art when I was just looking online for a cool desktop backgrounds. I was like, that looks like Skyhold. Sure enough, it was Dragon Age 3 concept art. Alright, let's go back to the courtyard, though. What was that? Interesting door. So, there's gotta be a way to the courtyard besides there, right? Or is that the only way up here? Fertile ground, even here. This hold has everything. Oh, yeah. I guess because it's a higher elevation, that's the only way to get to the courtyard. Okay, well, no wonder I've never seen it before, then. Um... <laughs> Plant seeds in Skyhold's nursery to grow herbs for crafting. Now, is there a certain amount we can grow? Because I know we have been collecting them. Inquisitor, Elan Vemar. Honored to represent the College of Herbalists and offer my services as apothecary. I haven't seen I intend to carry on yet. the work of my esteemed colleague, Adan. He thought highly of you. You will be missed. Oh, he didn't make it? I like that guy. The enemy took a toll at Haven. It's an unfortunate loss. He'd probably sneer at the sentiment and say, get back to work. So, we shall. All the mundane needs of Skyhold will be well tended. If you note anything special, let me know. I'm here to serve the cause we must. Thank you. Actually, I think there probably was a potion making table down in uh, like the uh, crafting area downstairs. There's Mother Giselle. Haven't seen her in a while. How you been? Ah, Inquisitor, you have finally come into your own. So they say. The Maker has put you on a difficult path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. 
I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? What does she know about Corypheus? Can you tell me anything about Corypheus? I know nothing of the man personally. But the chant of light speaks of what he claims to be. No matter all their power, their triumphs, the mage lords of Tevinter were men and doomed to die. Then a voice whispered within their hearts, Shall you surrender your power to time like the beasts of the fields? You are the lords of the earth. Go forth to claim the empty throne of heaven and be gods. So it was already empty. Now I thought the... See, she's about to say an old god, but I don't think it was an old god. I thought it was one of those, like, four demons. Um, some of whom we faced. I think Gax Kang was one, and Zenekabek or something like that. The uh, desire demon we fought in Dragon Age 2. The forgotten ones or something like that. Forbidden ones. One of the two. Let's see. Maybe it was an old god. That was one of the old gods speaking in their dreams? Yes. You met as I understand it. In secret, they worked magic upon magic. All their power and all their vanity, they turned against the veil, until at last it gave way. That sounds like what happened with the breach. Very similar, Inquisitor. Above them, a river of light. Before them, the throne of heaven waiting. Beneath their feet, the footprints of the Maker and all around them echoed a vast silence. But when they took a single step toward the empty throne, a great voice cried out, <laughs> shaking the very foundations of heaven and earth. But I know what he said. Um, probably the way the Dragon Age Origins opens. That guy's just like staring there at something. Who knows what. Corypheus said he found only chaos and corruption. The chant of light says that it was beautiful until the Maker himself spoke. And so is the Golden City blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. Yep, that was, uh... The Canical of Frenities 813. That's how the Dragon Age universe opens. Video game-wise, at least. Corypheus seemed so certain that he heard nothing. He described it as dead whispers. Bitterness, perhaps? He paid a high price for his crime. Violently were they cast down, for no mortal may walk bodily in the realm of dreams. And yet they did. Bearing the mark of their crime. So it is interesting, like you don't know which version is true, or if it's somewhere in between, or something else entirely. Was, uh... Did the Maker speak to them, or was it complete silence? Was it beautiful and then became black, or was it already aged and corrupted? It kind of seems more realistic, the uh, the Magister's tale, that it was already that way when they found it. That something else beyond mortal action scared off whatever being had once dwelt there. But I suppose if that's the case, that'll be another story for another time. And it's interesting, too, how the... It almost seems like history is repeating itself, and he's once again trying to get back into the Fade the same way they did the first time, or a similar way. But uh, if they did do it through a breach, how do they even get up there? Walking bodily in the realm of dreams is exactly what Corypheus said he did. But the mark, could it be related to the mark I bear? I cannot say. Perhaps Andraste saw clearly and we misinterpreted her words. It was always taught that the mark they bore was the shape of Darkspawn. Bodies so maimed and distorted that none should see them and know them for men. I see that what is she's all saying. I know of your adversary, Inquisitor. Maybe the mark in the chant is just like the mark, like the anchor, but... Maybe not. Maybe it does just mean what it seems to mean, that they were... Um, given their own scarlet letter of sorts by becoming the first Darkspawn. 
Some of the chant of light describes what we've seen and what Corypheus said, but not all of it. The chant of light is the work of mankind. We of all people must accept that mankind is fallible. Listeners may have misheard one of Andraste's songs. Just one word sung incorrectly could change everything. And how many verses were stricken or changed for foolish political reasons, like the canticle of Chartin? Still, I would trust these words over any spoken by Corypheus. I hope they help you. All right, so that was interesting. Is that the war room over there? It is. Okay. Something's over here, but what? I saw something. I know I did. Good seat right there. What is that? Warden to my right. Oh, oh, okay, you can, it's that thing, whatever that was, a place to hang a banner, I guess. Oh, it's an arrow. Interesting. How do I get up there, up the stairs and jump over, I guess? Curious to see what exactly that is. Pelinaris Dinanhim, Elven Arrow with Inscription. Um, okay. Got a codex entry at least, it's kind of cool. Not sure if it means anything, but. Alright, so let's go downstairs and plant some seeds here. So I did see a couple little pots over here. Can we only plant two though, or...? Um, right, let's plant this. Do you just check all of them, or can you only check two at a time? Or only one at a time? Is that how it works? I guess you can only plant two at a time then. That's kind of a shame. Um, wonder how much you get. Hopefully, if it's a more common one, you get more of it. I could definitely use that elf root, so I'm gonna plant that. Are there any more pots over here, or is it just those two? Can I unlock new pots somehow? There is a courtyard upgrade. Who are you? This is amazing! Convincing the Keeper took work, oh, that I'm guy. so glad you managed. Me too. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Anything cool over here? Oh, more again. And her back in her old outfit, I see. Tis a large fortress, Inquisitor. To think. Until recently, this place stood decrepit. Occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. Skyhold. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. Huh. So I wonder if there is a magical property to this place, and I wonder if one day Corypheus might be coming for it. I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. I know you did not want me here, Inquisitor. 
I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to Didn't you. Didn't say that. She said I'd be watching you. Just don't hold anything back. We need every advantage. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed. Tis that he actually may. We better stop him. Shan't we? Greetings, Inquisitor. Now that you've seen the Inquisition up close, what are your impressions? Tis remarkable what you have built. I will give you that. Leniana has built a network of spies beyond anything Thedas has seen. All this in precious little time, conjured from thin air through the power of fervor alone. I wonder if Corypheus suspected what he was enabling, just as I wonder what will become of all this once he is defeated. See, I still kind of wish I knew Corypheus is the big threat now, which I don't mind, but at the same time, I kind of like that there was also a more physical, visible threat in the uh, in the breach. The people all across Thedas could say there's a giant hole in the sky and not just a crazy dark squad because there are a lot of crazy people out around in the world and although Corypheus is obviously more dangerous than probably any of them it's hard to convince people of that I would imagine if they don't know anything about magisters or dark spawn or the first blight but if there's a you know, giant breach down and above uh, Haven that killed the divine it should be easier to convince people that it's an imminent threat we have to defeat him first, then I'll worry about what's next. Should that happen, the world will lie at your feet, more or less. Beware the heights you reach, Inquisitor. When this is done, many will be eager to knock you back down. Well, they're welcome to try. I'd like to know more about you. Ah, yes. Whence comes the mystery woman slinking her way into the Inquisition's ranks? Once I was an apostate, living well away from the banal influence of the Chantry in the Kakari Wilds. Then came the Fifth Blight with its dark spawn, and I left Ferelden for the Empress's court. Tis certain the nobles of Orlais breathe a collective sigh of relief that I am now here. It's odd that an apostate could live so openly. <laughs> it confuses those who expect apostates to cower and hide. I stand boldly before them and demand to know why I need some Chantry mage to teach me to control my power. They would put me on a leash so they can feel safer at night. I am uninterested in their comfort. Naturally, it helps to have friends in high places. You were in Ferelden during the Blight. The Blight began in the Kokari Wild, so yes, I experienced it firsthand. Indeed, I fought at the hero of Ferelden's side for a time. He is the reason the Blight was defeated. And you left on the we eve of our greatest battle. We did not part on good terms. I regret a great deal, but that... Most of all. And after that, I came to Orlais. The last place one would look for me, or such was my hope. We haven't seen, a uh, Flemeth in this game yet. I kind of wonder if we will. We saw both of them in the first game, Flemeth in the second, but not Morrigan. I wonder if in this one we'll see Morrigan, but not Flemeth. I kind of hope Flemeth has some role to play. Because I still hope she's like the main arch nemesis of the Dragon Age series. And that there's a lot more to her than meets the eye. But we shall see. The Orlesian court seems like an odd place to find someone like you. That was the point, originally. I knew the Empress was intrigued by the Arcane and that I could answer questions no Chantry mage could. Thus, we fit together nicely. I became her advisor and she my benefactor and source of refuge. Truth be told, our arrangement would not have lasted much longer. Too many wagging tongues, even for Selene. I'll leave you to the garden. Of course. All right, well, glad I came up here, because I honestly had no idea this place was here. I saw it on the map, but I didn't know you could actually get here. I thought we had to build it first. Speaking of building, though, I might go... Well, I don't know. I don't want to use all my herbs, though, just to... Uh do research on potions. Well, our seeds are there. I guess we just wait for them to grow now. Is that how that works? War room. 
judgment. I guess we can sit in judgment if we want. While we're here. This might just be more of a sky hole based episode. First, this wasn't my idea. It is an issue born of titles and air apparency and... <sighs> Halam Shiral is having difficulty freeing trade routes formerly controlled by Duchess Florian. Had she been tried, her assets would be forfeit and considerable bureaucracy avoided. So they ask that we judge her. Or what's left of her? This is supposed to make sense. I'm judging a box. That was the time allotted for rebuttal. Her crimes negated any claim to... <sighs> Forgive me, there is an order. So I hear. <clears throat> I should just ignore this. Um, oh, what's this? Precedent. Some of my arcane knowledge, I guess. Let's see what it, what it says. Strangely enough, something similar happened to an uncle of Emperor Leandra II. For nobility, His trade maybe. routes were returned to the reigning monarch. Why don't we just follow suit? A wise choice. Thank you for making it swiftly. Hopefully that's a scented candle. Alright, any more of those quests? Guess not. Alrighty then. Um... So I think we're probably going to go to the Storm Coast again next to see if uh oh Liliana came back, Worship. didn't she? Let's go send her out again. And then maybe we'll go downstairs and uh Well, that's the quarters. Probably not gonna be the last time I hit that by accident. Come on. There we go. Alright. So let's go to the war room. So many doors. Six, six elf fruit, joy. Um, we've already completed this, right? Yeah. I have requests for information on your lineage from a few oh, interested parties at the Winter Palace. And trust they preserve me. Feel free to use those requests as kindling. No, I shall take them. I want to know who pines for our commander. We can use this to our advantage. I am not bait. Hush, just look pretty. Protecting Clan Lavalin. Bandits are attacking. Um, Alright, see what's really Inquisitor. going on. Should we go to the war table? So, I guess the next thing I want to do is go down and check out those potions to see if there's any we can upgrade without using up too much elf root. Yeah, 26 and 30. We're getting there. We do need to find another quarry, though. And to do that, it'd be nice if we had that scouting upgrade. But to do that, we need more influence. So everything depends on everything else. To the Undercroft. We can also store, assuming I didn't sell it by accident. My uh, formal attire. There we go. What is this? Special oh, special shipments. Uh, schematics for from the DLC, I guess. All right, cool. Staff of the Dragon. I think it did say it comes with like a low-level version of each of the um, the DLC stuff, but then also like a higher-level recipe in case you wanted to make like you like the skin, I guess, which is kind of cool. There's all our DLC stuff. Um, so for example, crack weapons, let's see. As far as stabs go, there's T 
tier two stevs. Tier two stuff play. No tier three stuff yet. So none of these would really be as good as anything I currently have. Could make runes. Plus twenty. What is corrupted? Demons or just plain old cold damage. Yeah, I don't think we have any tier 3 stuff yet, which is okay, because we still have plenty of time to get tier 3 equipment. There's that potions table. Guy hold, we still need a little more elf root. Upgrade potions. Healing potion. What about Lyria? Uh, oh, it's all of our elf root. <sighs> Can't do that. Wish I could. Can't. Let me guess. This one will also need. No, this one does not cost elf root. Alright, so increased duration or increased healing. Um, what else is there? A regular healing potion. It needs more profits now. How about tonics? Blood Lotus, sure. Rock Armor, we could do that. Improve Duration or Improve Potency. Let's do Improve Potency. And we don't want really to use grenades, do we? Nope, not really. Alright, so... I guess that's about everything we can do is Miles. here in Skyhold for now at least. Um, so let's go through our quests. So we have that main quest, which we'll do in a little bit. The Inner Circle, which is all of our companion quests, which we'll do as we go. Lots of different areas we haven't been to, and then some new areas of the Exalted Plains we have unlocked, and that new area of the Storm Coast. Um, I did see that one of Dorian's quests was in the Hinterlands, so we might stop back there as well. Haven't been to the Hissing Waste yet. Um, Forbidden Oasis. We probably need more relics before going there. Skyhold. I think we've done that, haven't we? Recruiting an Arcanist? I'll take a look again, but I thought we already got one of those. Alright, so Storm Coast. Keeping the dark spawn down. Oh, we have a new quest there. Too. Oh, that's the one we unlocked because of the uh, the operation, I guess. Sealed the tunnels. So we'll do that, and we'll uh, also do Ferrix Red Lyrium that's in the area there. And hopefully we'll find that dragon. So that'll be next episode. I will see you guys then.